Again, this is typically, in the past, was difficult to do. Almost no software can do it. And uh, we were able to do a CUDA. And this is the experiment we are doing because, so again, there's multiple fractures. And you have to find out where the sands go. Okay, so this is one of the things. So the more uniform you place the sand in the reservoir, the more hydrocarbons you can recover. Okay, so there's money, there's, there's money. And, the, and the, we use Barracuda for the purpose, so you can see the comparisons. So, so the, uh, the blue line is the ex uh, experiment data, the red is the uh, CF uh, Barracuda, and the blue one is, is uh, a urine granular model. Okay, so Barracuda is doing a much better job. And actually, for the last one here, what we found is that the experimentally, at the last sec section, is because you know you have, you have fluids leaving the uh, system, right? At the end, it's below the settling velocity. So actually, sends particles settles here. So if we count those numbers, it actually turns out pretty much closer uh, than the actual uh, experiment sees, okay? So essentially, equal flow rate uh, here, so that can be verified. And then uh, how do you, so even though the flow is, uh, is, is equally distributed, the solid is not, okay? Because you have a much, the, the solid goes mostly to the first. So this is, this is a, a try to replicate uh, what, what is happening inside the reservoir with multiple fractures, okay? And then this is one of the typical applications, okay, in the pipeline. So each, each, the, dif the distance between these two, I shorten it, is 75 feet. So you have like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six sections. So about 300, uh, 400 feet total in length. And then uh, that doesn't count this, the rest of it. Okay, and each hole has total number of 12, 12, overage, 12 holes here. So this is also another factor we can play with. So how many holes are, should be here? How many uh, uh, clusters, sections should we perforate to, get them, to maximize the sand distribution <coughs> or optimize? And these are some of the examples. So, so instead of uh, six or 12, you get three and four and five and six and see how the sand distribution looks like, okay? So this is, the, this is the flow distribution, okay, in the different fractures. And the red line is the solid distribution, the same particle distribution. So you can see that with uh, more, more, you can, it, the, the variation changes, okay. So I'm sorry, this is the, the variations we want to see here. So it looks like with more, it, it get more, a little slightly more even out. Okay, five seems to be optimal, okay. So this is, uh, so we call it 4070, it's about 300 micron uh, in, in particle size. And this shows you that with different number of uh, uh, perforation stages, uh, what kind of distribution you will get uh, from uh, the problems. So th we use this type of calculation to optimize our operation. And uh, this is the uh, our water flow fraction. Okay, so one is called water, or this one, the other one is called slick water. So in, in the industry, you can use uh, pure water, and usually you want to reduce the drag. You put some kind of polymer called slick water to reduce the pressure drop, just to save on the pump, okay? Okay, so, so we have uh, three cases compared. Uh, water with 12, uh, perf 12 perforation holes in each cluster, with, and also slick water, and then slick water with six perforation. In each case, with also with three, four, five, and six clusters, stages. And then perforation hole size, the each hole is about only three eighths of an inch. And then for slick water, problems DP was corrected with a factor of 45. So the reason is that uh, we don't really know what's happening inside the reservoir. The, each reservoir, each cluster is a different pressure. So you have to correct that before you do the uh, modeling because those are unknown boundaries, okay? And uh, for slick water, so this is the first we did a, did a uh, Usually, that's why the, the industry usually start with slick, slick water. Okay, that's where we do our first uh, exp uh, uh, ver verification, okay? And the wa water pumping rate is like 70, 75 barrels per minute, okay? It's, it's uh, 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 1,500, 1500 uh, gallons per minute. Okay, and it's a two, uh, 2.5 pounds per gallon of sand, and uh, this, the viscosity is about two centipoles. And so this is the comparison. So it shows that uh, uh, at four fract fractures, you know, it get the most even uh, solid concentration distribution. So a little bit higher in the, in the two and three, but you know, on average, it's almost flat. So this tells us, shows us that what kind, what kind of uh, perforation or procedure we should follow. 
And with six holes and 12 holes, so each cluster, you dig a different number of holes and shows you that how the distribution looks like. So again, with more, less number of holes, you get a more even distribution. But this is give, this, this, in the cost of pump pressure. So with smaller holes, you get higher pressure, okay? So eventually, you will be able to get a very uh, uniform distribution of problem, problems in the different stages. Okay, so these are the data on the measurement, and the, 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 the purple line is the experiment. It, what, so the, all these are data, all these are data. So essentially, and the, the blue line is the model, uh, a mod, eventually we tune the model and to get the average out of the data, okay? So, so once you do that, you, you, can, you can actually predict uh, what kind of uh, problems you will get in each hose. So this is one of case studies we do. We try to understand if you put polymers in it, does it enhance or reduce the, uh, 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 the change, the problem distribution? So it turns out that they are almost identical. So this just get rid of one of the uncertainties, for example. 